yeah, let's go to custom audiences and we'll, we'll start here. So we're going to simply create two audiences. One audience is going to be those who land on your landing page, but don't opt in. The hey, second. Hey, Dave, Dave, I'm sorry. Quick question. Uh, are you recording? Yes. Hang on. Yeah. So the two audiences, those who land on your landing page, but don't opt in. Okay. And then your second audience that we're going to create are those who actually opt in. Okay. So those who actually become leads, that's our second custom audience. So what we'll do is we'll just click on this button right here, create a, a custom audience, that first blue one. And then this is going to be from a website, but here, here are all the different forms of audiences, custom audiences. And this is what I try to stress the most, man. This is where your money's at. The money mm -hmm. is in retargeting your custom audiences, but then mm -hmm. also your, your big money down the line, as you really start to spend money on Facebook and you start to really crush it. The real, real ROI is in your lookalike audiences, but you're not, mm -hmm. you're not there just yet, nor do you need to be mm -hmm. there. But the lookalike audience starts from a custom audience, but we won't go into the, those details right now, but it, it, but the custom audience is, is what you want to start building because the custom audience is what you'll start is what you'll be retargeting. Okay. So it's only in the beginning as you run your ads in the very, very beginning where you're running it to a cold market. But after a few ads, you have people that are clicking. You have people mm -hmm. that are coming to your landing page, but not opting in for whatever reason. Maybe they clicked your ad, they came to your landing page, but just didn't have the time to fill it out. Whatever. Things happen. That person could have been driving. That person could have been cooking dinner and food's burning on the stove. You don't, a million things can happen. Why could, can be a reason why they didn't fill out the form, right? Mm -hmm. They got to the page, but they didn't opt in. Right. That's website. And, and that's an audience that you'll be retargeting and showing them future ads. So, so website is what we'll go off of right now, but then there's also customer list. So if you have mm -hmm. a list of a bunch of people that, that have done a certain thing, maybe you have a customer list, or maybe you have a list of people who just, who, who opted in and downloaded a book. That's a list. That's an email list. Mm -hmm. You can also create custom audiences around list. list if I had right. a list of a bunch of customers, I can create a custom audience around that list and only run ads to them. Nice. You know, so, so the, the, mo the big, the, 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 the popular ones here of what everyone really creates audiences around is website. Those who land on specific pages of your website, which today we're going to do two of them, your landing page and your, and your thank and your, and your thank you page. That's mm -hmm. website. Customer lists is also popular. A lot of people will do that. If you have a, 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 an email list, if you have an email list, that's customer list, but then also it's video. Video is, is, is the most popular. So it's those three website, customer list, and video mm. where it's the most popular. So video okay. is simply creating audiences around those who are watching your Facebook video ads. So as okay. you start to put out video, then you can start tracking those who watch a percentage of it. So if you, if you put out a two minute video, we can create a, a video custom audience around those who watch 10 seconds of it. Those who watch, mm. 30 seconds of it. Those who watch a minute of your two minute video, we can create an audience around those people. And so it's really website and video where your money's at, because as you start to build those custom audiences of people engaging, you start to retarget them and build even more trust. And so that's exactly, exactly, well, not exactly, but 99% similar to my YouTube channel. The mm. only reason why you reached out to me, bro, is because you probably seen a few videos of me on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the only reason. That's why I tell people all the time. I say it on my videos all the time. The only reason why you guys are here because you keep seeing me on video. It's the mm. only reason. It's video. So that's a form of retargeting because all I'm doing is showing more video to people who are watching my other ones, and that creates a, a, a form of authority. It creates trust. It, it, it creates that whole psychological aspect of, of you thinking you like me, thinking you know me, thinking you can trust mm -hmm. me because you keep seeing me on video. That's video over here. So custom audiences of video is that that type of power effect where I'm now able to show my next ad to the person who watched my last video. 
I'm able mm -hmm. to show my third ad to the people who watched my last two videos. I can show my fourth ad to the people who watched 25% of my last three videos. Like that's mm -hmm. what creates that omnipresence where every time right. a person's on Facebook, they keep seeing Dominic. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, the guy keeps showing up on my newsfeed. I don't even know him. I'm not Facebook friends. I don't, I don't even know he has a business page, but I keep seeing him show up because mm -hmm. all you're doing is retargeting that person because they're watching your previous ones. Right. That's custom audiences on the video. That's where you'll spend a lot of time. That's where you'll get a lot of money is retargeting. So let's do the website. Let's hit next right here. And all we're going to do is, is grab, we're going to, we're going to do this a couple of times because we have to set it up a couple of different ways, but this is, this is the base. This is, this is, this is way number one. This is audience number one, and this is going to be simple website visitors. So if you hit that drop down, all website visitors, we're going to hit the drop down and go to specific. So right there where it says all website visitors, hit that oh, drop right. down and go down to specific. So this is going to be very, very specific. And let's go, the, the max is 180, 30. Just take, turn, turn it to 180. Yeah, change it to 180. That's the max 180. Max to the max. Okay. So, and then, and then all we're going to do is go in, go into the Karcher page, go to your landing page. So open up that tab on the landing page. And all we're going to do is double click that link at the top. All we need is Dominic to the right. We don't need the HTTPS. We don't need any of that. We just need the, oh, okay. the URL. So just get Dominic White dot cart. Yeah, get that part. And as we integrate your domain, this mm -hmm. is going to change because that domain is going to change. Right, right, right. So we'll have to come in here and update this, but we'll 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 be able to do that for sure. So go ahead and paste it in right there. At least one of these values. No, leave it, leave it as contains, leave it as contains okay. and just paste in that link. Okay. Hit the drop, hit that blue. So hit that, hit that blue right there. Yeah. Click on that. Perfect. Okay, cool. So here's a very specific audience. This is an audience of people who landed on this page, mm -hmm. but did not land on your thank you page. So go to right. your thank you page, grab that URL, everything except for the HTTPS. Grab everything and let's bring it over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to exclude, exclude people. So go ahead and click that and then scroll down and go ahead and change the 30 to 180, change the all website to specific. And all we're going to do is simply paste in that link. So hit the blue, there you go. And then scroll down. And, and, and this one's going to be named, you're going to name it whatever you want, but this is, this is simple. This is landing page visitors only landing page visitors only. And I'll put only in parentheses, landing page visitors only or, or yeah. In parentheses. Yeah. Yeah. Only perfect. So what you'll want to do for sure is you'll want to get more specific. Like as you start to build this out, what landing page is that? You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. you'll want to get more specific once you find out what that page is going to be for or who it's going to be for or whatever. Um, because as you come in here and look at the list, you're going to see landing page visitors and you're like, holy shit, what, what, what landing page? Right. Which have, landing page right. Yeah. Like once you have 10, <laughs> 15, 20 of these damn things going, you're not going to know what, what's, what's what. So right. you'll want to be very specific in the, in the naming of all this stuff. And so just do that. You can do that in the future. You can change that and you can change the name whenever you want as well. So, okay. so this is landing page visitors only. So go ahead and create audience. And that's our first custom audience. So nice. now what we're going to do is let's go create another one. So create audience. And this one's going to be around custom audience. Since you already have the, the link copied, this one's mm -hmm. going to be simple. All website visitors, just go ahead and go to specific. Always do specific. So hit that, go to specific change the 30 to 180 and then paste in that thank you page link. So this right here, click the blue, hit the blue right there. Always hit that drop down, always hit that blue and then scroll down. No one to exclude. This is simply leads. So again, you'll want to, no one to exclude. No, there's no one, there's no one to exclude. So oh. just X out of that. So audience name, 
these are people who landed on your thank you page. So you'll be want to you'll want to get very specific on what type of lead this is. Mm-hmm. Landing page, I would put I would put leads like they're leads like like but but again, what leads? You know, mm-hmm. they didn't land on the landing page; they landed on the thank you page. Oh, so so, so this is this is leads. You know, landed on thank you page. You know, leads. So again just come back to this and, and, and get more, get a little bit more specific on what thank you page that was, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So going to create audience. And those are the, the two most important audiences hit done. So okay. in your ads, as we go and run ads in, in our next couple of calls, everything is about retargeting. Like you'll start to, you in the beginning, you're not going to have anyone to retarget. In the beginning, your first few ads, it's not going to be a huge audience of people who landed on your landing page just yet. Mm-hmm. In the in the beginning, a few of, in, in the first few ads, you may not even have a ton of people in, on the lead, in the lead audience just yet. But mm-hmm. but the landing page visitor, visitors only. In the beginning, you won't have to retarget that that audience. But after 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 three to four ads, you should now have some traffic on that landing page. You should also have some leads at that point. So so what I'm saying is from ad, let's just call it ad number three, ad number three and on from ad number three to ad number three hundred, you'll mm-hmm. always retarget the landing page visitors. Okay. These are people who have landed on the page but haven't opted in. And we set that parameter very specifically. They have not landed on the thank you page, right? We excluded anyone who has, has landed on the thank you page. They're not on that list, right? right? Those are landing page visitors only, right? So that's an audience you'll always retarget. You'll always retarget. Um, and then the leads from ad number, let's just call it ad number three and on, the landed on thank you page leads, that's an audience that you'll always exclude. Mm. So okay. as you start to run Facebook ads for the same damn thing, let's say you're offering a free PDF, or let's say you're 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 you you have one product and that's what you're you know running Facebook ads for. Well, if I opted in, it's like, dude, I'm a lead already. I landed on your thank you page. You don't need to show me more ads. Right, right, right. So so that's an audience that you'll always want to exclude. Um, in the future, which we'll get to that on our, on our next couple calls, but, but okay. that's, that's our custom audience. Okay. So now let's set up a custom conversion. So now let's click on the dots to the left. Let's go to the events manager. Yep. Right there. We'll go to events manager and we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left. So this blue triangle right here to the left, just hover over it. And we're going to go to custom conversions. Okay, so this right here, do you know what a custom conversion is? Um, it focuses on specific people, right? Well, here, here, here's the deal. Go to, your, go to your landing page real quick. Open up the tab. You got your landing page, and then you got your thank you page. Here's really, here's really just what, what a custom conversion is really for. Let's say you're running, a land, you're running a Facebook ad. You're getting me to click learn more. I come to your landing page. This is your landing page right here, right? Mm-hmm. So right. the goal is to get people to see our ad, click learn more, and come to our landing page. That's our goal. Mm-hmm. What's our ultimate goal? That's what Facebook yeah. wants to know. Our, yeah. our ultimate goal is to get people to land on the thank you page. Go to the right. thank you page, click on the link of the tab right there. This is our ultimate goal. Our ultimate goal is to get people here. That's what Facebook wants to know. That's all they want to know. They, they, they need to know the link to the, to the landing page. That's what you put in the ad. So they click learn more. They go to the landing page. Yeah, that, 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 that's easy. But where are you really trying to get people to? That's what Facebook wants to know. They want to know the ultimate destination. What is the ultimate goal? Right. And the goal is to get people here. If I can get people to land here, then I've achieved my goal and the money was well spent because I captured a lead. Anyone who lands here is a lead, bottom line. Facebook yeah. wants to know this link. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that link right there at the top. We're going to copy that one. Um, it's mm-hmm. all about this thank you page. So we're going to copy that link, that URL, and then we're going to yeah. bring it over here. So create custom conversion. 
and we're going to simply name your conversion. And this is simply its leads. Obviously, we want to be more specific on the type of lead, but you can always rename it. But this is leads. This is leads. Bottom line, this is leads. So again, I don't, I don't mean to keep repeating it, but for sure, just get more descriptive with that because you're not going to know what lead it is. You know what I mean? So, so hit the all, all your, actually, no, select your own category right below, select your own category. And let's go ahead and put it in the lead category as well. So hit that drop down recommended. And this going to, we're going to scroll down until we see lead. These are all the different custom conversions. So a custom conversion is, 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 is an, is an actual action like what is the ultimate action that we're looking to get people to take? Is it initiate checkout? Is it purchase something? Is it to mm -hmm. opt in and become a lead? Watch, hit that drop down. Is it to mm -hmm. get them to schedule an appointment? We can run Facebook ads strictly to get people to complete a registration. Or we can mm. run Facebook ads to get people that are likely to add their payment info into our payment form. So oh, it's yeah. very specific, very, very specific. What in the hell are you looking for, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Facebook wants to know. What's your ultimate goal? And so mm -hmm. if we were selling a product, what well, scroll down, you got purchase. You know, if we're selling a physical product or even a digital product, whatever, if we're selling a product, you got purchase. So I could mm -hmm. choose purchase, run a Facebook ad, and Facebook will find me people likely to make a purchase. Oh, nice. I'm had to get real estate agents to schedule an appointment with me, I can run schedule hmm. and, 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 and tell Facebook, hey, man, I am looking to get people to schedule an appointment. So this event for optimization is going to be schedule. And the link that I put there would be the link to my thank you for scheduling page. So as right. I go to your calendar, and I enter the, the date and time on when I want to schedule. And I click the button, schedule now. And then I'm taken to a confirmation page. Just like you, when you go to my calendar, you go to my calendar, you schedule today's call. You put, the, you put the date, you put the time, you put your name, you put your email, you click schedule. Mm -hmm. and, then you're, and then you're taken to a thank you for scheduling page. That's my right. confirmation page. That link is what I have set up over here under schedule. Right. So, so if I wanted to, I can run ads and get people to schedule a call because that's my main objective. And I can go schedule. I'll put the link to my thank you for scheduling page, which is my quote unquote, thank you page, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, a, it's the same thing. It's my thank you for scheduling page and I can run ads for that. So it just depends on what you're, what you're ultimately trying to do. Are we trying to make a sell? Are we trying to get a lead? Are we trying to get people to schedule a call with us? That's mm -hmm. custom conversions. And so that's why most don't achieve their goal of Facebook ads because they never set this up. They never tell Facebook what their ultimate goal is. They'll just run a traffic ad yeah. or run a video view ad. They, because it's a video, they think they got to run video views. They just run video views. It's like, dude, that's such a waste of time, waste of money. Because our goal is to capture a lead or, or our goal is to make a purchase. Right. We have to run that type of ad. So this is custom conversions. We're going to go lead. And then simply get out of there, click out, and just paste in your thank you page link. So that would go right at the bottom in the rules. So right below, you got add URL keyword. That's where that link goes. That's the thank you page link. Now, again, that's why you always want to double click it because you don't need that HTTPS. You got to always, so X out of that, go back to the, th to the page, the tab at the top, the thank you page. So just X out of, yeah, yeah, get rid of that. So go back to the thank you page. See, so what you did is you just simply copied it from, actually, you didn't see the HTT, you copied it from right there. Because you copied it from right there, you copy everything. That's why you got to double click it, open it up, and then just get that part. Okay. So this is what goes there. And that is your custom conversion. So click on create. Nice. So now as we go and run our Facebook ads, hit done. We're, we're simply running one goal and one goal only. It's conversions to capture leads, right. bottom line. So now here's what you got to do. Here's what's very, 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 very important. We just completed that. Now what we got to do is we got to go back to the thank you page. Let's go back to the thank you page, the tab at the top. 
refresh this page. Re look, our Facebook pixel right now says number two, right? Mm -hmm. you see number two, refresh the page. Hmm. Now it should light up um, number three. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Click on it. And now you should see your custom conversion event leads. Oh, nice. You just created that. Yeah. So yeah. now as we refresh Facebook, I mean, excuse me, as we refresh this page so Facebook can read it for the first time, then we go back to the ads manager. So go back to the, to the conversion tab, go back to, yeah, that one events manager. Now refresh this one, that inactive should go active. Nice. Perfect. So now you're good. Now you're good to run conversion ads. But one thing we need to do is we need to get that domain because the next step is to integrate the domain with Kartra and integrate the domain with Facebook. Okay. So we okay. have to get that part done. Um, so I do that. ASAP. <laughs> okay. But, but this is how you create custom audiences. This is how you create a custom conversion. The, there are two different things. The custom audience are just, are, are, are really for only audiences that you want to build to either retarget and show them mm -hmm. future ads because they've engaged with your previous ones, obviously. That's what put yeah. them in the audience in the first place. You watched my video. That's why you're in my custom audience. You clicked on my ad and you came to my landing page. That's why you're in my custom audience. So these custom mm -hmm. audiences, they're only, they're only for people that are, that are engaging, right? So the custom right. audiences I'm either going to leverage and use to show other ads to, or again, in the leads audience, I'm going to always exclude them from seeing future ads. That's, mm -hmm. that's the custom audiences. But then the custom conversions, that's the ultimate goal. So whatever your campaign is in the future, schedule, purchase, leads, whatever the hell the objective is, that's your custom conversion. So you'll mm -hmm. come in here, you'll set up a custom conversion around that action, around that activity, and, and that's, that's the custom conversion. Um, because as we go and run the ad, we need to tell Facebook about this custom conversion. We do that in right. the ad set level, which is step two when you're running the ad, which we'll get to. But um, okay. two different things, two very, very important things. But what's missing is the integration of the domain. So we need to do that next. Yeah. Okay. okay. So any questions on the on the custom audiences or the custom conversion? No, I just not need to really purchase that domain name. You know what? Let, let's let's do. Yeah, yeah, we got to purchase that domain name. Um, and then and then also let's do let's do one more. Let's do one more. Go to Kartra. Go to go to Kartra. Let's 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 create one more page real quick, because I'm gonna have you create an, an audience around this page as well. Hit the green one. Let's create a page and this is going to be, it's going to be a, a thank you page, but this is going to be a, a thank you for scheduling page. So as I go to your calendar and I schedule a call, I'm then taken to this page right after. So whatever it may be, again, you can always change it, but let's, let's, let's for sure, let's for sure do this. Th this will be, yeah. Thank you for scheduling or yeah. Thank you for scheduling. Thank you for scheduling page or whatever. Okay, so so what we'll do real quick is we'll put it in the – actually, it, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be in a category because that's going to be – so just hit this, hit the category, select category, and just put no category because it does – this is this is general. This is for anyone who schedules, a, schedules an appointment with you. So it's not just for a client funnel or anything like that. So select site, hit no site, and then just create. So again, we're coming to a, coming into a new page for the first time. The first thing we're going to do is hit the settings to the left and let's just change out the SEO parameters, change out that. Um, in fact, thank you for scheduling is, is good. Thank you for scheduling is good. Sometimes, sometimes the default is, is good because that's all I need them to do here is, is, you know, thank you for, thank you for scheduling. So you can leave that or you can always change it and then hide it from search engines as well. Like no one needs to find this page and then just click apply. Then, hold on, hold on. Okay. So just make sure you always click apply. Always click apply over here to the left. And then um, and then and then we'll go settings again. And then we'll add, let's add that pixel real quick. So let's go to um, our pixel. Yeah, let's add that that pixel. So um, 
go ahead and go to Facebook and grab that pixel again. So over, you could open up any one of them actually. So yeah, you can grab right here, add events. Perfect. And then from a new website. Perfect. So the pixel needs to be on the page before we can even set up a custom audience or even a custom conversion. So yeah, this part's important. So go to paste it in there, click apply, and then, um, and then save progress, publish live, customize the link, and then return to dashboard. Or actually customize the link, copy it, and then open it up so Facebook can read that pixel. So let's publish live. Let's customize this link. And I'll just put, you know, thank you for scheduling. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's copy this. Yeah, check that. Copy that. Open that up. And then um, and then and then we're good. And when you when you copy it and open it up a new tab, you can always copy the whole thing if you want. Um, okay. It's just it's just that's all we need when we set up the custom audiences and custom conversions. But when oh. you open it up in a new tab, yeah, you can just copy the whole thing. Okay, so let's paste this in. Let's open this up. Let's check that pixel helper. Make sure that that's our pixel. Um, so go ahead and hit that pixel helper. So there's our correct pixel. Perfect. 0246. We're good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to copy the link at the top. So let's just copy it. Double click it so you can open up the whole thing. Just grab just Dominic. Yeah, just Dominic. All that to the right. So just copy this, and this is going to be another custom audience. We could set up a custom conversion as well. Um, in fact, we'll do both. We'll do both. But the custom audience is really the, the most important. Um, so let's go back to the events manager, and let's just go back to audiences. So um, actually, we could do the custom conversion first. That's fine. Let's do, the, let's do the custom conversion So since we're already here. So hit the blue one. Um, name, name your conversion. This is going to be scheduled appointments, scheduled appointments. Um, so again, this custom conversion, it's only necessary if and when you start to run Facebook ads to get people to schedule an appointment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, right. I think that'd be so, great for realtors. So. Oh, heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So um, hit select your own category. And then hit the drop down and go down to schedule. There we go. Perfect. Schedule. Okay, cool. So we're going to go with that one and we're going to paste in that URL right at the bottom in the rules. So it's going to go right there. Paste that in. Hit create. And you're good. So now go back to the Karcher page, open up that tab, the thank you for scheduling page, open up that, that tab. There you go. Refresh this page. Remember, this is always for the custom conversion. Um, check that pixel. Make sure that that now says schedule, scheduled appointments. Bam. So we're good over here. Now go back to the events manager, the custom conversions one, and refresh this one. Bam. Perfect. You're good. Okay, so now let's click on the dots to the left and let's just go to audiences. We'll go ahead and um, go ahead and set up a, an audience around this this link as well. So audiences. And the reason why the custom audience is important for, for this specific link is because, again, if I'm running Facebook ads and I'm getting you to opt in to become a lead, okay, mm -hmm. Now you're in the audience of, of, of thank you page leads. Now I can exclude you from seeing future ads. But if you've mm. gone the, the next step and you've actually scheduled a call with me, it's like, damn, I need those people in an audience as well because I want right. to be able to exclude them also from seeing future ads. They've already scheduled a call. Why do they got to keep seeing my ads? Mm -hmm. Right? So that's why this audience is so important. You'll be using it to exclude from future ads. Hmm. Okay, so let's create audience, hit the blue one. 
and we'll just go we'll just go custom audience again and website we'll go website and then um we'll just follow the same thing so hit next and then go ahead and and all website visitors change that to specific and then change the 30 to 180 and then just paste in that link so this is an audience named and hit that blue there you go hit that blue there you go okay so scroll down no one to exclude we don't need to exclude anyone we just need to name it this is this is scheduled appointments you know people who have scheduled an appointment scheduled appointments perfect create audience okay cool so when you create the audience you can hit done nothing needs to be refreshed it's only being refreshed when you when you create the custom conversion so mm -hmm. so now now you have you can minimize this top part so hit that that drop down to the right just so you can see everything below to the very very right you got that little oh, drop down right yeah that one close yeah hit that just there you go so now you can just see a little bit more so now you have scheduled appointments landed on thank you page those are your leads and then you have you have um, the one below it which is website or landing page visitors only so see if you can scroll down a little bit right there can you scroll down yeah maybe just check the box and see if you can just scroll down <laughs> that's weird no oh huh. i wonder why i see it but i can't really see it yeah so it's just if you just click in there and maybe try to scroll can you click click can you scroll down right there nope hmm. can you minimize this top part any any further the um new U usl you use ltv like can that mm -hmm. that drop down that doesn't close it out or anything yeah no. okay so yeah it's kind of hit weird. that columns to the right see if that um shows you a different oh, view um yeah it's all good but it's right below that's the landing page visit yeah, yeah we know it's there so yeah yeah so Three custom audiences, man, um, and then your and then your two custom conversions. And those custom conversions, you'll always want to like test them. Like, really, it's not the appointments. I mean, you can you can start running ads for for and optimize for conversions for appointments, but mm -hmm. it's also good to just simply run for leads. Like, if you're going to start going after like real estate agents, for example, maybe some type of ebook or maybe opting in to see a training video, right. They, they, they see your ad, they, they click the button, they go to your landing page, they opt in to watch a training video on how you were able to get a real estate agent 47 leads in the last four hours. Mm. And now they're opting in to watch a video. Like that's a lead. Or if I'm opting in to download your free ebook or some PDF or seven ways to get more clients on social media if you're a real estate agent, right? I'm just clicking to download your free ebook. That would be lead. So majority of right. everything you're going to want to run an ad for is 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 a conversion ad for leads, which is okay. what we set up. That's that's the round your thank you page. But but again, what we set up the second one was appointments. So you'll have that ability as well to 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 simply to simply run ads. But but that's a little bit more. I wouldn't do that right right now because in the beginning, no one knows you. Like as you start to run these ads, no one knows you. So. Right not until you start to build the pixel, the data. It's not until you start to build custom audiences um, around that data. It's not until you really start building custom audiences around those who are watching your videos when you can then start going for appointments. Because if a mm -hmm. person saw your last seven videos, okay, maybe they're a little bit more comfortable. Maybe they keep seeing you. Now you built this authority. Now you built this credibility. They keep seeing you. Now, now, if you're talking, hey, man, click the button, it will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I'd love to help you and help you take your real estate business to the next level on social media. Like if you're right. putting out ads like that, at that point, seven ads later, then, okay, and you're retargeting, you're retargeting people, you know, who, who engaged in your last seven ads, right? You're retargeting, then mm -hmm. people may be scheduling appointments because now they're more comfortable. They've seen you a million times already. Right. But at the very beginning, no one knows you. So going for the appointment is not really the best bet. 
So you'll want to come out the gates giving away something for free, something of value for free first. Yeah. And that's where my whole ebook, you know, came around. I started giving out that just to capture the lead. And then once I have that lead, then I can leverage my email automation to build even more rapport, more credibility, more trust and like, and, and all that through my email automation. And that's where I get them to schedule an appointment. So I'm not running ads to get people to schedule appointments. I'm running ads to get them to download something of value for free. And then I'm getting them to schedule an appointment either on my thank you page or in the 57 emails that I have ready to go out 57 days later. You know what I mean? Mm. So, so it's, it's in that email sequence where a lot of your appointments will be coming. You know, okay. from the thank you page or from from the email sequence, but I wouldn't necessarily run ads to get a point to 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 try to shoot for appointments right away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So okay, so that's custom audience. Let me come over to ebook versions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you familiar with Fiverr? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, bro. Like, like for sure. Like, like I'll send you a link just so you can get a discount on your next order. Like use, mm-hmm. use my link just so you can get a random discount. It's worth it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, dude, I used Fiverr for my ebook um, back in 2018. Mm-hmm. Like I, like mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna give myself credit for it because I wrote I wrote the whole damn thing. But I used a ghostwriter to at least <laughs> start it for me. Mm-hmm. Like I reached out to a ghostwriter, spent like 25 bucks, had the yeah. person write me four pages. I gave them the topic. I had them just go off and 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 do four pages, and then I turned that four pages into 55. Because I just added, I added a bunch of stuff. I added images. I added freaking my two cents. I added a table of contents. I added a resource page. So I just added a lot of fluff that made it look yeah. good and, and, and more credible, right? Now it's a 55 page freaking book. You know what I mean? But, yeah. but it started 25 bucks from a ghostwriter on Fiverr. Nice. So, so I would reach out to them and tell them the topic tell them your subject and or, or, or the title of the book or whatever you're thinking and just mm-hmm. the subject and have them just go off and, and write a few pages for you. Okay. Like, and, and once they start it, then you can elaborate from there and turn it into something, you know, big. And, and I always tell people, man, spend some time on that, spend a little bit of money on that because that becomes your bait. Yeah. Like no yeah. one comes into Dominic's world unless they're coming in by downloading the ebook. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's how I would play it. That's how I did play it. You know, they download the book first and then they're in my world. And once right. they're in my world, then I can, then I can hit them with email automation and get them to schedule a call that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Perfect. Perfect. So, so the homework for today, bro, is to, is to find your domain, get that domain. Yeah. Th- that's the domain we're going to be running ads to. That's the domain we're going to be integrating with Kartra. So, okay. so think of a domain and then on our, on our next call, we'll integrate that domain into both those platforms and then be, be on our way from there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Sounds right, good. Man. So this one was custom audiences and custom conversions, and I'll send you the recording later on tonight and then just schedule your next Ooh. call when you can. All right. Thanks a lot. Right, oh, oh hey, hey, is it okay? So, uh, this week we do something. Yeah. Week? Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. Okay. All let's, right. Let's get, let's get it in as soon as possible. Right, right, right. All right. I'm excited, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. For sure, D. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.